panama papers now in this topic in this topic the core points core points are tax avoidance see i have not discussed the issue i'm just giving you just have an idea what are the core points it means that if there is a question you need to mention it tax avoidance tax evasion and solution to it tax transparency simple this has to be there in your answer issue is about the topic before going to the topic i'm telling you that the issue is about tax avoidance and tax evasion and the solution to is solution to this problem is transparency in tax administration or tax transparency i will discuss now before going to this topic just have an idea that what do you mean by tax avoidance what do you mean by tax evasion so it's there in the material but have an idea tax avoidance is it's a careful planning means you are carefully planning something to ensure your tax burden is less of you are planning in such a manner see every tax loss not only in india everywhere in every tax loss of that country there will be lot of provisions like exemptions will be there like we call it as tax expenditure i am not going to that term every tax every tax related loss will be having exemptions what do you mean by exemptions the what is the purpose of exemptions purpose of exemption is for the government to attract to ensure that certain area get attention from the people or from the company but what i am trying to say is that every tax related loss have tax rate tax loss says that this is the tax rate this is how you have to pay tax and if you don't pay tax what are the problems that will be mentioned along with that there will be exemptions to certain taxes to that taxes now why we need require a charter accountant why every company or individual require a charter accountant because he will tell you how to pay less tax yes or no he will tell you how to pay because he knows all the tax related provisions he will say that invest like this pay like this show like this do like this and pay only this much tax give my money give me more money as my professional fee because i only knows everything so this is what simply this is nothing but tax avoidance so you are not doing anything wrong with it we are using the law itself knowing the uh, loopholes of the law weakness of the law trying to ensure that so by using by using careful taxful <coughs> tax planning by carefully <coughs> knowing that is every exempted provisions of the law so through a tax expert every company or individual use tax planning and the basic purpose of tax planning is to pay less taxes or to avoid tax this is what is called as tax avoidance so there is a chance that so we have already discussed this one type of tax avoidance when we discussed in double taxation avoidance agreement that is tax avoidance now what do you mean by tax so tax avoidance and evasion are not the same it's different evasion means you are evading something you are hiding something see this money in in relation to tax avoidance tax authorities know your income tax authorities know your income and he knows that how you have exempted your money from taxation but in tax evasion tax authorities don't know your income because you are not disclosing your entire income so it means that certain money so i'll give you in case of tax evasion suppose you are having an income of 1 crore you are having an income of 1 crore okay see when in examples we can say like this no problem <laughs> see never ever imagine that in civil services you will get an income like this it's not ethically like you will get it but ethically it is wrong don't think like that i am just giving an example only and what you are showing you are showing only 20 lakh as income 
your income is your income is 1 lakh your income is 1 lakh but to the tax authorities you are showing only 20 lakh and what do you do you pay tax for that 20 lakh so what about this rest 80 lakh hmm? rest 80 lakh is you have evaded it's an unaccounted money rest 80 lakh is unaccounted money tax authorities are not aware of it this is what is called as tax evasion so you are so you are evading your money so your unaccounted money and another name for this unaccounted money is black money this is this is so black money is not money with black color but black money is which you are not informing to the you are not disclosing your income to the tax authorities and you are avoiding tax okay so this topic is also about black money when we talk about tax evasion it is so when you think from that way see from a taxpayer point of view he is not paying taxes now think about from the state point of view state is losing taxes again it is a tax erosion again it is a tax erosion because people are not paying taxes why they are not showing it now this money can be since now the issue here is now this unaccounted money this unaccounted money is not safe why you can't deposit in a bank because bank if you deposit a bank the income tax authorities will somewhere will get an idea that this money is there because there are a lot of provisions is there you can't keep at your home you then you will not get sleep then what you look for then you look for a safe place where you can park your fund your this unaccounted money where are then you'll find out then the, again the same CFL will tell don't worry I have my friend who is in Mauritius who is in Cyprus who is in Panama give my money I will I will deposit over there then you said but is it safe will I lose my money then I better I will pay the tax then they'll say no don't worry I have all the politicians money handling all the bureaucrat money I am only handling see the list I can't show you I am showing you to ah, all these people are there then why not I will also give you get the point so what will happen this this unaccounted money will go to a safe places where our tax authorities will not have any control that place is called as tax heaven so this topic is also about this topic is also about tax heaven now what is the specialty of tax heaven <coughs> tax heaven follow <coughs> follow territorial taxation this concept called as territorial taxation all the taxation tax havens follow what is called as territorial taxation what do you mean by territorial taxation tax seven says that income from outside the country we will not impose any tax what do you mean by territorial taxation if we tax we will tax from our own territory not from the outside territory so the money coming from India if it reaches any tax haven no need to pay tax because they are following a territorial taxation then they say that we also don't follow we don't charge from here also from the <laughs> see it means I simply say that see first of all they follow territorial taxation it means that from the outside they will not tax then they say that here in our country we don't pay we don't uh, impose any tax we are so much liberal so there is they don't impose tax or if they tax impose tax that will be negligible or nil so one of the common feature of a tax heaven is no tax at all uh -huh. very good and then we will go and park the fund over there second is second is you want to set up a company you want to set up a company in a tax heaven I can set up in one day easy to easy to set up a company easy to set up a company means you can set up a new company in one day maximum two days in India 
<laughs> to set up a company. <laughs> now, you can understand if you want to set up a company in one day, what type of company it will be? It will be shell company or letterbox company. So, almost all the letterbox or shell company will be there in, in tax seven. Then the other issue is, then the other issue is related with <coughs> secrecy. They will never disclose their client information to anyone. Tax seven is also a sec tax secrecy place. And they also not bothered also to know their client who whose fund is this. If I if this uh, if this uh, law firm take the money and go and deposit this 80 lakh there, Panama Bank will not ask whose money is this. He says that it's my client. This fellow will say it's my client. Write in my name. That's it. So lot of benefits are there in a tax haven. So what will happen? What will happen to tax haven? All the, from not only from India. Don't think that India is the only country having this problem of tax evasion. Every world, everywhere, including US, is also facing the same problem. All the unaccounted money or avoided money will go to the this tax haven and have a safe avenue. And then what these people will do? They will set up a company and reroute the fund back to back to the source. That is what we already discussed, what is called as round tripping. So, I am not going to round tripping in this case here. So, just have this link in mind. Now, we come to this paper is all. Now, the issue. Now, you will easily understand what Panama. Panama is a tax haven. It is a, it's a uh, what do you say, you know Panama Canal, same Panama. <laughs> now, from the, uh, from the uh, economic point of view, Panama is a tax haven. It is a notorious tax haven. It is a notorious, in, in, uh, among other tax havens, Panama rule is, Panama, why it is notorious? First of all, Panama do not have any central bank. No central bank in Panama. No exchange control. So, no central bank. Oh, see, all the features are there of a tax haven. Plus, another feature is no central bank. So, if central bank is not there, no, no control at all in relation to inflow and outflow. So, no exchange control. So, because of all these factors, now what happened? So, Panama is a tax, notorious tax haven in the sense that and Panama is not having any tax treaty. Panama have not signed any tax treaty with any of the country. So, since it is not having any tax treaty, it, it will not disclose any tax related information to anyone. So, Panama was forced by the entire uh, nation to come into their board, but Panama was not listening to it. At this point of time, a few months back, just a few months back, that is in this year, that is why Panama paper is important. <coughs> A German newspaper, along with this uh, international consortium of investigative journalists, have got some documents from a law firm. From a law firm. So, in Panama, now I will tell you what is happening in Panama. In Panama, there will be a lot of shops, small, small shops. What that shop is called as law firms. How will be Telling investors, come, come, come. Or there are a lot of websites saying that give us 800 dollar, we will set up a company. Give us 1000 dollar, we will set up a foundation or trust. In one day. And so, what these uh, people will do, investors or uh, the people who avoid tax will do? They will go to this law firm and set up their company. Now, no bank will have this, so much details about their clients, but law firms will have the details of their clients. Now, one from actually this Panama paper is about leakage, leakage of documents from one law firm in Panama. Do you think that in Panama there is only one law firm? No. This paper is why it is called as Panama paper. One particular law firm details. Now, you know that the details you can't imagine. It is 
11.60. If I'm factually wrong, don't bother. That's, it's not about the factual that I'm just around 11 million documents and certain terabytes of data of clients and their information is there. This data was leaked by the German newspaper. newspaper. And that law firm is uh, Mossack. Again, if this Mossack Fonseca, see if I am spelling or term is wrong, just it is there in the material. This law firm, now what this law firm used to do in Panama? They set up shell companies. They have set up around thousands of thousands of shell companies. You know, you know who are their clients? This law firm's client, Vladimir Putin, Chinese president, etc., 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 etc. Big, 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 big. Uh, unfortunately, our poor Amida Bachchan name is also there. <laughs> but he says that it's not there. Uh, anyway, it's mentioned in the paper. I'm not uh, complaining. I don't know. Uh, so, <coughs> so the one point is that so Indian politicians were very, very happy. You know why? None of the politicians name were there in this leaked documents. A Raja was very very happy. He said that I ah, see now I have not taken any money. Who said the 2G scam is there? So in, in this matter, in corruption related matters, Putin and Chinese president should learn from Indian politician. How to see, keep your money safe? No. He should, Suresh Kalmandi and uh, A Raja should teach them how to safely handle your unaccounted money. So what I'm trying to so so there was a see Indian politicians were happy in the sense that their name is not there but the bigger issue is that its money is somewhere somewhere parked in some other places lot of black money is stashed away abroad <coughs> okay so come to this uh, this firm <coughs> so this firm documents have literally shocked the entire world so much of data so much of details so much of shell companies is as per my knowledge it is around 25,600 shell companies were set up. Now what is the purpose of setting up this shell company? You know the shell company, no? The purpose of shell company is simply for tax evading. And very funny thing is that even the tax, you know this Transparency International, you know Transparency International, what they are, it's a famous NGO fighting against corruption. In the Latin American, in, in North American, one country's transparency international head is also there in that list. You have to resign. <laughs> so it's all it's all very funny thing about this Panama leak paper. So what I'm trying to say, this paper leakage has have been a shocker to the world. It's not about the volume of data, but the people involved also. So this paper reflected the the issue. Uh, created by tax havens. So before this issue itself, before this Panama paper itself, in the last four or five years, now this organization now become very, very important from your prelims and mains point of view. OECD, a club of rich nations headquartered at Paris, have taken a lot of initiatives, including the BEPS. Now it's the same organization, way back, already have a, a concept, what is called as uh, means OECD, <coughs> like a convention is there. We are coming to that convention, what is called as multilateral convention. Actually, this convention is nothing but a convention which was initiated by OECD and Council of Europe to exchange tax related information between their member countries. But after this uh, 2009 G20 London summit, G20 countries also asked this OECD to amend this convention so that not only the member countries, even the G20 and the rest of the countries will also be part of it so that there will be an automatic exchange of automatic exchange of tax related information. So already this convention is there, but because of this issue, it has it has so the Panama was not ready to come to part of this convention. If Panama become part of this convention, then in future Panama have to give information regarding the people invested or the money who are parked there in Panama. But after this leaked documents, Panama was forced by OECD and other rest of the countries 
to become so panama has already finally in july said that that they will also be joining as part of this convention once panama becomes a member of this convention panama how to give the tax related information to that respective country which is also a member but when panama have become will become a, panama said that okay panama will sign this convention but it will not automatically actually what we aim to do is we require automatic exchange of information there has to be a automatic exchange that is instead of see what is the difference between normal exchange and automatic exchange automatic exchange is that if suppose i am i mean if i am indian citizen and parking in panama automatically what will this panama authorities will do na before i park it and i get the receipts they will send that information to the tax authorities in india so if that happens within few days they will come to my home for knowing the details from where i got this money it's good you paid the money there you said no problem but from where have you paid the tax here if you have not paid pay the tax with fine etc et so so this info, so this automatic exchange of information will result in tax transparency so this is one of the initiatives our solution lies in tax global tax transparency and mca is one of the initiatives and now mca is very important for reason being now so many countries in new it's mca is in news just in september pakistan joined it if you two three months back india also india is also member now recently switzerland also agreed to become a member of mca so every day you will uh, read news in relation to mca who all new new countries have joining mca so there is it's because of the pressure from the oecd and g20 countries because now it has they have come <coughs> there is a there is an initiative under this mca what is called as common reporting standard crs it is a combined initiative of oecd and g20 where the member countries have to report so there is a reporting standard is there so basically the standard talks about automatic exchange of information so this is one of the initiative so if panama paper issues all about uh, tax avoidance tax evasion and how this tax haven how these people uh, with so who use this uh, who have lot of unaccounted money how they have used this tax haven now tightening the tax haven tightening the tax haven in relation to making their tax information transparent the each countries will have a better idea of their citizens uh money invested abroad so we are talking about offshore tax havens and tax save this how these shell company not only travel uh take this money outside but also it's coming back to uh the country back in the form of round tripping or foreign investment so we already uh, plug the loophole in relation to mauritius dta now we are also ensuring that this money will not be so we are ensuring that a stringent or robust system is there in relation to the foreign transfer of this unaccounted money so that is one issue so this panama paper have to be read along with mca along with that so these are the solutions we are discussing to avoid such type of so try to understand that there are lot of mosaic uh, fonseca type of firms are there only from one law firm we got so much of data there will be so many law firms we need to ensure that they are uh, all these tax havens become transparent and let the respective territorial jurisdiction have an idea where this fund have gone so in future in future this is what now our finance minister talks about don't worry either you openly say that this much of money is there outside if you have a global tax transparency regime is coming once we catch your fund you don't know what we will be doing it so lot of warning has been sent from the government side so but these smart people have not done uh, reacted they are still laughing let's see that who will win in the final battle later on okay the second issue is so again this is the one side this is a multilateral convention now there is another thing which is again there in the material what is called as fatca <coughs> fatca <coughs> again you this is related with the same topic foreign account tax compliance act see all these things will be in the newspaper so this will help you to understand the news related with the taxation
foreign foreign account tax complaints act we have discussed mc also both having same foreign account foreign account foreign account tax complaints act now have an idea this is purely a us act united state act united state this act is passed by the us government way back in 2010 this act is of us only us act now what this tax says that us says that <coughs> this uh, this act is from the us side which it want to ensure that the us citizen the us citizen if he is parking fund outside us the us government should have an idea how much fund is there where it is been funded so as per this act as per this act <coughs> the us will sign bilateral agreement as per the foreign account tax complaints act the us government will sign individual or bilateral agreement with different countries and once this act to signed between this uh, between the countries what uh, what is this act is about once a bilateral act uh, pact is signed under this both the countries both the countries will share information will share information regarding the foreign investment so the us if <coughs> now take the case of india and us in september 2015 india and us have signed this india us have signed in 2 september 2015 as per this act india us intergovernmental agreement on iga india us intergovernmental agreement on fatca the us will if any indian if any indian will go and invest in us the us government or there is see there is a uh, revenue agencies there what is called as don't get confused internal revenue service of us internal revenue service of the us will report so it is like this it is between see lot of people are there financial institution financial institution tax authorities government now when you invest you invest in a financial institution the financial institution inform this uh, report in, uh, the information this financial institution will tell that this fellow how invested this much to their tax authorities in us it is irs indian revenue service uh, internal revenue service then it will inform the government the government will inform this to the indian government especially the tax related authorities in india and the government can take any action so both the tax related authorities in india and us will have an idea how uh, if any indian investors have invested in us they will get an idea if any us investors have invested in india the us government will have an idea so basically it is it is nothing but exchange of tax related information this act is about exchange of tax related information between us and the rest of it. so in india in the india us act it is between us and india so now, as of now india uh, us have signed more than 100 fact uh, bilateral agreements between countries so what us is trying to do is what mca is trying to do in a multilateral way us is trying to do with in a bilateral way so again uh, <coughs> india becoming uh, by signing fatca agreement and rep uh, also agreeing to the common reporting standard of mca india have ensured that india have ensured that uh, india becoming a member of the global regime to ensuring to ensuring tax transparency from the external side we are doing like this and from the internal from the domestic side from the internal side we have already have a black money law two laws are there one for the foreign account money which is stashed abroad which was passed last year again we have a law black money law related with the domestic thing which was passed this year that i'll be discussing in some other class so that act is there then from 1st april 
2017 onwards we have a stringent law what is called as general anti avoidance rule don't worry that I will be discussing in a separate class and I'll deal with but so what I'm trying to say is this Panama paper leakage now what this you need to have an idea what is this Panama paper leakage is all about why uh, how now the once you know the issue once you know this the issue is it's very it's a big issue you need to know what are the way in which we can prevent these type of issues and what are the basic root causes of the creation of these tax haven especially the money being stashed in okay so we need to give solutions so as part of the solutions as part of the solutions the core solution is the main point is tax transparency to ensure tax transparency to ensure tax transparency from the uh, we have MCA we have FATCA we have the income uh, this black money law in India and the coming GAR etc and then we are also we are also uh, see this common reporting is also related with BPS see I we keep this in mind this treaty shopping which we discussed is only in relation to one angle base erosion profit shifting which we discussed earlier was dealing with I told you it is having 15 action point plan base erosion base erosion and profit shifting which we discussed earlier those who have not watched that class it's available in our YouTube you can watch it new student those who are attended just keep this in mind when we discuss base erosion and profit shifting base erosion and profit shifting I told that it is again a OECD initiative it is having 15 point action plan one of the action plan was dealing with treaty shopping what is that sixth point action plan there is 13 point action 13th point action plan deal with country to country exchange tax related exchange so this initiative of OECD MCA initiative is also dealing supporting BPS 13 point action plan 13th action plan so it's there in the material what I'm trying to say is just relate it relate it so that if there any question comes if it is explicitly mentioning with that angle bring that point also so this is a, there is a global initiative that's why I'm telling you this topic is why it is so important because now there is a everywhere it's a global initiative now Panama papers how uh, speed in this change now see in the last few years FATCA MCA is happening but with the leak what the impact Panama papers have made to this international tax transparency regime is that it has speed in it it has fastened it and that is your question is all about your model question is all about that only read the model question on Panama papers What is that question talk about? Leaked Panama Papers. Now what is the keyword here when you answer this question? How will you answer this question? See this topic is about illegal money. See be very careful this in this question. See again I am telling you that when you write answers now you have lot of information. <laughs> I'm coming to the major point you have lot of information but in mains you require is answer to that question now in this question you can't answer all the points see the already our hand is tied by UPSC for a UPSC question tied in the sense that UPSC clearly says that 200 words you can't write more than that now when I when you try to answer this question you have lot of points in mind now to this question if you want to address it one is so don't overwrite about Panama papers don't write story about Panama papers the question is not only about Panama papers what the question deals with Panama papers it can catalyze it can catalyze or speed up a global shift a global shift global shift for what for what 
towards cleaning up illegal money. So we need, there has to be, so basically when we talk about this illegal money, it is nothing but, first main thing is black money, right? So it's, so don't think right from one perspective. Illegal money is not only black money. There are other ways of, what is black money? Unaccounted money. Now you have made money in other way also, drug trafficking money, smuggling money, immoral trafficking money and other the money which you get from other sources all are illegal. Now the problem, the problem with this, see there is a route, there is a channel to fund, see the problem in India and worldwide is, the problem worldwide is to this illegal money now, there will be illegal money handlers are there, illegal, for the handlers they will not look, they will only take commission. They will not look into from where this money has come. Whether it is a politician money or a bureaucratic money or a terrorist money or a drug smuggler money, they will not look. For them, it's only money and their commission. And they use the same route. They use, they use different routes and common route is one of that route is Hawala route. And Hawala people don't know what this purpose money is about. For them, it's about commission. Okay. So, there are so many illegal routes also there. It's, a, it's not legal, it's not legal. Now, what will happen is, once we ensure that, now why this money flows from one place to one uh, other place? If we tighten the belt in tax haven, if we tighten the belt in tax haven, people can't stash their money in tax haven because they will be caught. So, if they do that, they have two options. They will ensure that they will become transparent. They will good see those people who have made money but who want to avoid taxes, who want to avoid taxes, they will come to know that okay, it's better why to have headache, better show it to the government and pay taxes and leave rest. So if that if that stops, if that stops, that is unaccounted money making um, becoming pure. That is when the unaccounted money is being disclosed to the tax authorities, it become white, you pay the tax, rest of the money you can use it, no tension. Now when, see actually the major money which we create is black money. When, when the source of the black money comes down, this root also comes down and now if anybody is using this root, it will not be people who will be unaccounted money, they will be people who creates money through uh, practices like smuggling or other things. See, now try to understand that the people who deals with opium trading or opium smugglers or drug smugglers, they are the same people who fund terrorists also. So, this is actually we are dealing with a different topic, money laundry. I am not going to that area. What I am trying, just keep this angle in mind when we talk about, now what we are talking about is, we are talking about this question. This, the, there is a global movement to clean up illegal money. That is, so many initiatives are there. One is this multilateral convention on mutual uh, assistance in uh, tax matters. Other is FATCA. Then there are so many domestic initiatives like the what the Indian government have taken. Now what this, by ensuring this movement, by, by uh, this, what it is trying to do is, it is ensuring that, it is ensuring that this illegal money get exposed and this unaccounted money will come down. So actually this regime is all about that. Now once that happens, once that happens, once that happens, we can, the lot of benefits are there. Benefits are, the government revenue will increase. Yes or no? Because once the unaccounted money become accounted money, the revenue will increase. Second is, the illegal activities happening because of illegal uh, money will come down. So that is from the security angle from, from the nation, it's very important. Okay. And so the, now see the question. Question is whether the Panama Papers have speed and the global shift towards black money, illegal black money. Yes. Now 
think about black money and when you discuss about say this money also black money and the other money which is created through uh, activities like smuggling terror financing etc deal both when we talk about the illegal money because the same money goes to the same places because tax haven never look into the source of the fund never link it to the identity of the people who invest there they will only want that the money to be there in their place. now once with this once this global regime become more enforceable and when every country started sharing automatic exchange of information this to an extent this can be prevented so this leaked panama papers have uh, fastened the movement towards global tax transparency regime so you can end in that way and if there is any other point to be mentioned you can add to it so this way you have to answer that question this is the answer to this question so what i'm trying to say is what student does is when you try to answer this question they will write full about panama papers they will tell the story panama paper consists of this much of document this much of derabytes this much of politicians name were there but if you write like this you are not answering to the question you get in the point this happens when you write a main answer don't do it read the question carefully and address every point and write in 200 words so panama papers mc and fatca are related all are dealing with the major issue of tax havens problems created with tax havens and that is basically tax avoidance and tax evasion mainly tax evasion and the solution to it is to have a global tax transparency regime address it in that way